Greetings everyone and welcome to a new first day for the channel where today we are going to be checking out Magic Archery, a sort of incremental game, I'll get back to this sort of part in a moment, that is criminally underpriced at the right ball price of free. Uh, so if you enjoy checking out this video, then you can enjoy checking out the game at no additional cost by uh, heading over to Steam. The links will of course be in the video description down below, along with those lovely buttons that you should absolutely massage while you're down there. But what is Magic Archery? Well, as I mentioned, it's sort of an incremental game. Think Norp Apolog. If you uh, enjoyed that series, this game has a lot of similarity, at least in how it's delivered. However, the sort of part creeps in when we get to the idea of prestige. Most incremental games, number go big, brain go brr, and then you prestige, and then number grow bigger, brain go brr, brr. However, Magic Archery doesn't really use a prestige system. It's just a single run. You get through the game and then you're at the end and then you might try another run to beat your score, but you don't really change the game much from there. You can change how you pr proceed through the game, but it is just a, a uh, trying to beat your high score. And on that note, if you do check out the game yourself, uh, do let me know down in the comments below what your high score is, how quickly you manage to do it. And if you're also a member of the Dapper Dell Discord, then uh, by by all means, post some screenshots below. But uh, with that, let's go ahead and jump in and uh, see what Magic Archery has to offer us. This villager has taken up the bow. Help them master it very well. Craft a target to shoot. When broken, targets give experience. Very well. And like many, many incremental games before it, we are going to uh, be transitioning through very different uh, very different stages of the game, automating things and so on. A skill has gained experience. Check it out over here. Concentration. Uh, increases the experience you get from breaking targets by, well, I mean, as the level goes up, it'll increase. Uh, next skill is going to cost gold. We do not have any gold yet, but hopefully we will find a way to get some gold. There we go. And there we are. Concentration, level one. Oh, 5%, not 1%. I actually quite like that. Very, very nice indeed. Is that going to be true for a level two? Is it going to go up to 10% and so on and so forth and so on and so forth? Or will there be diminishing returns? Okay, so far, it looks like it is a simple 5% per level. Not bad at all. But then again, we, we are at such a, a low uh, amount, uh, uh, sorry, a low scale of the levels that maybe we're just not seeing the effects of a diminishing returns system. We We'll, we will have to keep an eye of that as we go through. But right now, the game is pretty simple. You simply click the button every time the target is destroyed. Ah, there we are. You have unlocked quests. You will automatically perform a quest repeatedly for gold. I see. Next quest, skill requires uh, concentration four. We've already got it. Unlock it. Herb gathering. Level one. Gather herbs and mushrooms from the forest. Reward every time you complete the quest is one gold. Uh, we need concentration level five to increase it further and gain two gold instead. Uh, the next quest will unlock at strength level six. Well, that's probably going to take us a little bit of time, I'm going to be honest. Uh, all right, well, we need a uh, just one more hit drop skillet. There we go. Continue. Now the next level will get us another gold and so on and so forth. We need 30 to be able to unlock the strength stat. I'm really liking the music. I'm really, really liking the music. And again, this game is free. And frankly, I feel that is a criminally under underpriced game. It's not often that you'll hear me say, I want to give you more money. But uh, I definitely feel that this game is deserving of at least some money. Uh, at the very, very least. All right, there we go. Upskill it twice. We are now at max level. We are gaining four gold per turn. But let's go ahead and have a look at strength. Select the skills radio button to focus on leveling it up. Uh, I, I, it would really irritate me if that was just left there. So we're going to grab this last level. There we go. Now we're going to switch over to strength and see how this one goes. Now we need strength level six to unlock the next quest. Oh, you've unlocked upgrades. Buy them using gold. So Amulet of Insight will increase the rate at which we can increase our concentration skill. The Enchanted Bow increases strength, and since we're training that right now, I'm immediately going to buy it. Uh, we'll hide maxed upgrades. Uh, more targets, wooden targets, move to the city. Well, that is quite a, an interesting one, certainly. Uh, I wonder what that would have. One does not simply migrate to the city. You must pay the toll. Uh, 
fair. Okay, uh, no, no free movement. Uh, very well, I, I understand. Uh, we've got wooden targets, craft wooden targets, which have 1.2k health and give more experience. I'm not sure how that would uh, pan out, whether that would be uh, a good uh, choice or not. But we've unlocked our next skill, or at least the ability to grab it, farming. This one would already give us uh, three quarters of the, the coins per, uh, per uh, level that we had with Herb Gathering. And at level two, oh, let's actually switch over to it, we're gaining more than we were getting before. Uh, we just need strength level 10 to be able to get another plus three. Okay, so that is, scales up very, very much. It ain't much, but it's honest work. It is indeed honest work. Very, very honest. Right, there we go. Now we need to get up to 12. We've got to get dexterity level 10. How much? 300. My lord. Okay, uh, well, that's going to be a bit of a rough one. Uh, more targets. Increase the amount of targets you can have crafted by one. Uh, sure. Oh, that's going to make it a little bit easier. Oh, and you automatically switch. I like that. I like that a lot. That is that is cool. Uh, there we go. Upskilled. Now we're getting 12 per turn. That is going to make purchasing upgrades a lot, a lot easier. And uh, indeed, getting to dexterity a lot easier as well. Uh, what's the next upgrade that I would like to get to? Well, wooden targets might not be a bad one. Maybe I could go for that. Uh, ooh, auto craft targets. Automatically craft targets. Yes. I'm not going to save up for that one. On a poultry farmer's wages. Are you mad? No, no, no. But let's uh, let's unlock dexterity and see what we can get with that. So strength was increasing the damage we do from normal arrows. And I apologize for not reading that first. Um, but uh, dexterity will increase the fire rate. Yes. More arrows, more better, I feel. How much does that increase it? Uh, it looks like they're all just increasing by 5%. Okay, fair enough. I'm going to be honest, if that is true of all skills, I will say that I dislike that generally in games. Like, if if everything is always going to be in multiples of some number, just scale down the numbers and make everything increase by one. So instead of needing 20% to unlock the, the whatever, just need 5% and everything increased by 1% instead of 5% at a time, if that makes sense. Uh, I, I, I don't necessarily like seeing, you know, large numbers used just because. All right, so there we go. Let's uh, see what we've got. Magic Quiver. Oh, actually, that would improve the rate of our dexterity increase. From Mysterious Village of cra uh, village Craftsman. Seems to have infinite space for arrows. Uh, seems to adapt to your strength. A family heirloom seems to allow you to think more clearly. I should have read those. But we're going to go for wooden targets. Let's have a look at what... Oh, my lord, it's going to take forever before we get any experience. I may have made a mistake. Uh, all right, fair enough. Um, we need dexterity 10 to get this, but... Yeah, we, we don't get anything until we break the target. Oh, no. <laughs> what have I done? At least we're getting more more coins. Uh, am I going to be able to buy that? For Ooh, that was a lot of experience. I did not properly pay attention to how much we were getting before. But that gave us a huge bump in level. Let's grab that one as well. Let's see how much this gives us. I know we've got something over there, but I want to pay close attention to this one first. That, that was very good. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's unlock the next quest. Hut building. Assisting constructing huts for the village. Reward 9 gold versus 12. Okay, well, that's pretty good. Gain 70 construction uh, concentration experience. Construction, I mean, it would make sense. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll upskill straight away. Okay, that is absolutely fantastic. And the sound of the arrows is fantastic too. Though maybe a little bit loud looking over to the side. Let's pull that down. Just a tiny bit. There we go. That that might be a little bit better. I'm sorry if that's been hammering through your head like a woodpecker on a tree outside. I apologize. Uh, there we go. Gaining 80 constra uh, concentration experience and 36 gold. Oh, that's kind of wild. Uh, I wonder if this will increase the experience gain. Let me have a look. Your quests are given 85 experience right now. Let's buy that. Yeah, 131. Okay, that's, that's actually quite worth it then uh, since i'm passively gaining that i may as well and this in turn gives me more experience at all times i very much like that we're gonna have to set, save up a lot for the next arc, uh, accuracy upgrade though 
at that point, we're very close to the point where I could get auto-crafting targets, and I kind of want to get auto-crafting targets because I'm lazy. Uh, so I think we might save up for auto-crafting. I don't see a reason not to on this one, though we can unlock accuracy already. Mm, no, we're, we're just around the corner. Let's let's get auto-crafting targets. That seems like the, the most sensible one to go for. It's a little bit of a delay on getting accuracy on the move, but... But uh, not having to click this button anymore is going to save us a lot of headache uh, because I am very forgetful. Right, okay, well, we're going to have to wait on the accuracy. How fast are we firing now? 145%. That is very, very nice. We're up to the level 30. Uh, maybe I should switch over to something else for a little bit, though. I'm going to... Yeah, let's get let's get strength up because it's now very much the lowest stat that we have. I would very much like to pull this up to at least like 25, 30, somewhere like that before I switch out again. Or, or until I've got accuracy, I guess. Let's just see how high we how high we can get it. We're now dealing 115% normal damage, which is very nice, especially needed for these much more tough targets that we've got over here. 145% extra experience, 125% extra damage and 150 percent extra fire rate not at all bad and there we go we've got accuracy increases critical hit chance of normal arrows mm, critical hits increase damage by 200 percent okay i i am absolutely gonna wait for this one to get a level i hope it gets to 30 am i going to be uh full round numbers i am going to be full round numbers i'm, I'm not gonna lie to you I, this is much happier this makes me happier. This, I'm not going to care about it because I, that one's passive. But these, these I have control. Wow, we're already up to level 9. Oh, this one is straight up 1%. You know what? That's fine, though. We're already all, uh, at 14% chance of getting crits. That is very, very nice indeed. Let's have a look at quests. We're going to need level 20 for that that shouldn't be too bad we're already there let's have a look at what we've got bird hunting join hunting parties to hunt using your archery okay that's uh solid gains 265 accuracy experience just straight out the gate uh okay and now it's up to 40 so now it's worth me switching over i would say can have we got something for accuracy oh that's very expensive um I'm not going to go for that one first. I'm going to get the enchanted bow because I'm training. Uh, oh, I was training strength. I guess I'm not training it anymore. Uh, that was a bit of a mi uh, mispurchase then. Uh, bad me, bad me, I know. Uh, up to 31 in accuracy. Not bad. 30, uh, we're almost to the point now. Yeah, the second we hit 33, then we every uh, one in three shots is going to be a crit. That's absolutely okay. All right, 80 gold per. Very much appreciate. We are buying the Amulet of Blood. There we are. Accuracy is going up even faster. At this point, I'm thinking of going back to either Strength or Dexterity, though. Maybe I'll let Accuracy get up to 40. 40% 40 critical hits is a very, very nice number. I think I would... Ooh, what are those? Oh, are those um, what we've been buying? They might be... They like the amulets. We've got two amulets, so it would make a bit of sense, right? I would like to switch over to strength. Ah, oh, uh, we'll, we'll go with strength for now, anyway. Uh, magic quiver wouldn't be a, a bad purchase, in my opinion. Uh, there's no reason for me to go for the amulet of inside right now. I wouldn't mind getting the the enchanted bow though. Let's uh, let's go ahead and increase the amount of damage we're doing for a bit. Let's try and take that up to uh, level two. I think we've got it up to level two. Right, once this hits 40, I'm going to switch over to Dexterity. And we're going to just keep moving around like that, I think. Uh, trying to increase our stat in a more in a more uh, balanced way. There we are. Uh, as for the Magic Quiver, it's going to cost me 1.5k to get. That's going to be a relatively easy purchase for us. The Amulet of Blood is now the same cost as the next uh, stat, which is Vitality. Okay, very interesting indeed. Mm, one more job. There we go. Very nice. All right. So Magic Quiver is 150% now. Oh, no. Sorry. Only 100%. Wow. That is a really expensive upgrade. Uh, mind you, 9k to go from 50% extra to 100% extra. Mm, maybe we could go for the stone targets. Uh, the Blood Amulet, a red gem that gives you a better sense of critical points. Uh, the stone targets. My arrows seem to go through wood too easily. Perhaps solid granite would be better. Uh... What are we firing from our bow? Tungsten rods? 
my lord. Uh, nevertheless, uh, I, that might be a, a worthwhile investment. I think Vitality is going to be the better investment here, though. I don't think we should go for for the uh, stone targets over Vitality. But once we've got Vitality, definitely switching over. Let's get concentration up a little bit. Get some more experience coming in. We're up to 45, 45. Very nice. Round numbers. Very happy with this. It's definitely by the Amulet of Insight. Concentration skill is now 150%. And yeah, we're not going to be uh, going any further than that. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, the next quest was uh, level 14 construction. I was not paying attention to that. I was assuming it was going to be vitality, but there we are. Forest patrol. Scout the forest and report for resources and threats. This gains concentration and dexterity. Okay. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, we are straight up there already concentration up to level 48 will give us uh the next level up strength 48 is what's going to give us the next skill okay i should really be paying attention to this i apologize i was too distracted by all of the buttons that's all uh concentration is up to 50 now my goodness uh we need 52 to be able to get level uh the next level that might be the last one wow okay the uh it's uh, gatling arrows at this point they're like the Gattle Norp. I should play the Norp Apolog again. What a fantastic game that was. And again, this game reminds me of it in a good way. That is a very good comparison. I, I really, really enjoyed uh, the Norp Apolog. And uh, the same of the comments. So did you. Uh, scan the forest and report for resources of threat. Blah, blah, blah. We're up to 95 concentration, 740 dexterity. Can we improve that at all? Uh, maybe dexterity. But I'm going to say vi unlocking Vitality is the better option for us right now. Uh, definitely going for Vitality. Uh, what are we up to in Concentration? We really need to switch over. Uh, I'm going to wait until we hit 60 in Concentration before switching over to Strength. But uh, And by then, well, actually we might not end up doing Strength. To be perfectly honest, we'll probably have enough to unlock Vitality by that point. Uh, still, I wouldn't mind doing a little bit of a dip into Strength in order to get up to whatever the next quest is but let's unlock vitality Ooh, magic affinity 50k vitality unleash additional arrows made of life force that deal zero damage why would i want to hurt myself to do no damage i don't understand what the the value of this is i will confess oh, we're getting plenty of levels of strength so i don't mind getting that amulet of vitality an amulet from a mysterious vendor where are we finding all of these mysterious vendors it's only 9k though that's not too too terrible that would uh, that would not be a difficult one for us to go for are we almost up to strength yes we are am i going to wait until i crest 50 before switching to vitality yes i am and there we go vitality it is right let's unlock you what do we got deer hunting what oh it's a sound oh we've got damage stats i like it okay it looks like that's the vitality arrows okay <laughs> uh my vitality how are my vitality arrows doing no oh right it's 10 damage for every level of vitality that makes a lot more sense oh that's direct scaling then well i mean this is this is direct with strength but it does seem that this is doing more uh, uh making uh, more of an impact definitely All right deer hunting join the veterans hunting for big game strength experience and accuracy experience Okay, I think we'll go for that. I mean, the nice thing about this is it'll level itself up, which is kind of cool, so I don't really need to think about it too much. Uh, at this point, accuracy is uh, the lowest stat, but uh, it will catch up, it seems. There we go. Uh, right, we're up to 8k. It's a long way before we get uh, magic affinity, so I'm thinking it might be worth the stone targets now. Yeah, let's go for stone targets. I was really tempted with the Amulet of Vitality, but Stone Targets feels like the better option here. Let's see what we can do. And pop 24.6k experience. That is kind of wild. Okay, let's uh, upgrade you. What's what's the Vitality quest? Mining. All jobs unlocked. Okay. Mining just purely gives Vitality. Okay. I think I would prefer to work through deer hunting for now, and then we might switch over to mining. But honestly, the gold is the, the, the secondary concern at this point. I think I would prefer to focus on getting uh, the jobs that give me multiple skill upgrades. Uh, we are over 50. More of our shots are now going to be crits than are not, which is a very, very nice place to be, in my opinion. And we are doing crazy damage with our life force arrows. 
There we are. We need strength level 60 for the final level of deer hunting. And while we're doing this, just because we're focusing on vitality, we're still actually pulling that up pretty quickly. My God. Okay, so as much as I was saying, I would, I would like to focus on skills. That is a very big difference in the amount of gold we'll get. I mean, there, there is focusing on the on the skill economy, and then there's just just you know basically being the gold economy. Um, now maybe we will switch over to that a little bit sooner than uh, than than later. Uh, for now, though, I would like to increase amulet of vitality. Let's grab you, so we're bringing in those vitality levels a little bit faster. There we go. Oh, this one goes up higher. That is even more broken then. That is significantly more broken. Can I help out with strength a little bit? Let's just push you up to level 60, ideally. There we go. Let's flip over to dexterity for a little bit, I think. Uh, actually, no, it's only level 64 we need to take you to in order to max it out. I'm going to max them all out because why wouldn't I, really? Uh, I'm going to just get dexterity up to level 60 first, uh, which should be the next target break. And pop. No, it is not. Why? Why would you do this to me? Oh, well. There we go, and now we can switch over. There we go. Right, we already. Uh, I'm wondering if this is going to be to level four or it's going to be much, much higher. Uh, sorry, a level five or, or much higher in, in uh, upgrading that. Uh, let's have a look. No, it, it, it just got us up to one extra level. Okay, well, that's fine. I don't think we're going to be focusing on this anymore, though. I think now it's all going to be into vitality, realistically, which means. Oh, we actually don't. We've gotten the max level of amulet. Yeah, and it does look like those are the amulets. Okay, uh, well, uh, given that, none of these really benefit me right now, so maybe I hold off for the time being. Well, I guess I am still rising strength. Uh, let's flip over to accuracy for a little bit. Uh, let's get that crit chance up for now. Oh, uh, we are actually at the very limit then. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. Uh, Amulet of Insight, yeah, got that one. Magic Quiver, yep, yeah, got that one. Okay, well, I may as well buy all of these before moving to the city then. I may as well get the most out of our upgrades. What level do we go up to, though? Is there any reason to take accuracy beyond 100, even if that isn't the limit? Is this going to be one of those games where you got 150% accuracy because the targets are 50% dodge? I hope not. I just like messing with both sides of the equation, okay? I had that drummed into my brain enough. You you, you ideally want to reduce the variables to one side of an equation. You don't want to have to be fiddling around with both sides. It makes things so much more complicated. Let's, let's only have accuracy to d dictate whether I get a crit and not, not modified by dodge. Please and thank you. Uh, we'll see how it goes though. But uh, almost up to 70 there. And I think with that... Uh, uh, maybe popping over to dexterity for a little bit. But, oh, we can go to the city. Have I got enough? No, not yet. Ooh, do I want to do this first? Yeah, I do want to do it first. We're, we're close enough. We're making stupid money. We may as well go to the city as one of the last things that we do. There we go. And we haven't even actually gotten this up to max yet. Do I want to do that first? I kind of do, yeah. Let's get everything up to 70. I am one of those players. You're just going to have to accept it. I like round numbers, all right? If it's got a zero or a five after it, then that makes me happy. For reasons I can't really express. Or a seven. I like seven just because it's one of those numbers that there aren't patterns for. Which is the opposite reason why I like, you know, round numbers. I like the patterns you can make with round numbers. But sevens just kind of defy patterns. And I respect that. Right, there we go. Let's get you all the way up. What level can we take this up to? Oh, it is only that. But wow, that is kind of stupid money, though. Let's be honest. I can now go to the city or I can unlock magic. Let's go to the city. Punk. Oh, God. I very much like that. That is pretty. That is very pretty. Okay. Uh, oh, it looks like we've unlocked new things there. Amulet of Time. You seem to have more time in the day with this. Increases all skill experience gained by 100%. Mithril targets, it may be expensive. Uh, the uh, the perhaps plates of Mithril will provide a good chance. Oh, but perhaps, I imagine. Craft 150k health. Uh, and then we've got just more upgrades for everything else. Okay. Oh, we've got different jobs. Uh, accuracy 70. We're with the City Watch currently. Gain 6.37k concentration. Excuse me? Okay. But I can grab this one straight away. Sharpshooter. 
concentration and accuracy. Well, then that's going to level this one up passively by itself. And it already gives me more money, so why would I not? My lord. Uh, okay, well, I would kind of... Well, we'll hit 75. Then we're switching over to concentration for a little bit. And we're also going to buy this amulet. It takes up to 250% gain on our concentration upgrades. There we go. We'll see how high this one goes. I wonder what level these go up to. Uh, requires concentration level 75 for the next upgrade. We shouldn't be too long away from that. Uh, we can buy Magic Affinity if I just save up the cash for it, which I kind of feel that I probably should, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, should we jump over to Accuracy for a little bit? I will do that once concentration hits 80. Look, look. I know, it's annoying. It's a curse for me as much as it is for you. But don't try and tell me that you wouldn't do the same thing, because I know at least a good portion of you watching this video would do exactly the same thing. Right, okay, level 5 is the max level, but that's fine. Uh, now, pulling accuracy up, we're already 3 out of every 4 arrows are criticals, which is wonderful. Getting that up to 100% is just a flat doubling of all of my damage, and there is very little reason for me not to do that. Oh, we've got magic affinity, but let me first upgrade this. 1.5k additional, it's up to 3k now. Very nice. Good bit of uh, experience being shared, but let's have a look. Magic affinity. You've discovered magic. Check it out. Okay, magic experience is going up here. Uh, mana arrows. Learn how to shoot mana arrows. Increases mana arrow fire rate. Mana arrow damage and damage at this level. This requires two. This requires one. Or is it just the same? Oh, okay. Uh, ice arrows. Mana arrow damage by the level of vitality skill. Oh, that's quite cool. Uh, fire. Let's go down a branch. So ice arrows increase critical rate of ice arrows by 50% of accuracy level. Uh, increase. Oh, is that damage? Increase crit no, it's just a critical rate, okay. Uh, increase critical damage. So I'd need 200% accuracy to have 100% critical chance of ice arrows. Increase critical damage of ice arrows, the same. Increase accuracy skill experience gain by 250 and another 250. Wow, okay. Increase critical damage of all arrows by 100%. So this is the crit branch. Vitality down here, vitality skill gain. It looks like those ones are just going to give us massive increases. Uh, I should probably be upskilling this while I'm reading through here. Uh, increase life arrow f um, damage by 100%. Okay. And increase experience from gain from targets. So this is a flat experience from targets. Oh, that's a very tempting one. Down here, we've got concentration increases. There and there, but also a new arrow type, portal arrows, uh, shoot at random targets. Oh, I think this one shot at different... Oh, this shot shoots at multiple targets. All targets at the same time, because that would be amazing. Uh, we've got increased magic affinity skill experience gain by 250. For every unspent magic experience, increase portal arrow damage by 10%. Increase skill experience from quest by 100%. Okay, uh, well, I've got things that I need to... Inv oh, I've got all skills unlocked. Uh, okay, well, we probably invested a little bit more into uh, Vitality than I meant to. Uh, hire a wizard to train you in magical arts. <laughs> kind of love it. Uh, we are going to go with more targets, though. Because obviously we are. I'm going to switch over... Uh, once this is once this is leveled up to magic affinity for a while should i grab amulet of blood no i think i should grab this and again because i'm gonna have a lot of catch up to do here and then i'll finally grab amulet of blood uh, that'll help us out with a little bit with the accuracy uh upskill this making stupid money now uh let's have a look we're almost there We'll be at 90% then. Uh, your current quest is also giving us 13.3k experience for our accuracy, which is truly, truly amazing. We're almost at 90. Oh, we've got a little... We've actually got a magic tutor behind us. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. Could you just like, shoot some magic missiles for us then? All right, okay. Magic affinity. I want to see how much this first level gives us. What? <laughs> okay. Speeds up magic XP by 250. That, that, was, that was a big upgrade i'm not gonna lie very very pleased with that right well, let's let's get back down to this we've now got four points let's uh, go for for an arrow type uh okay so we've got a new arrow type there uh well let's see what we what, what we can get into magic man increases skill uh experience from quest by 100 and then we've got fire arrows 
Strength will uh, increase the damage of firearms by 50% of the normal arrow effect. Increases strength skill. And again, strength will increase firearms and strength skill. Down here, strength will increase the firearms more. And then spectral arrows. These arrows hit multiple targets. Uh, these just hit random targets. Going to increase spectral arrow damage, two of them. I'll increase gold gain by 100%, two of them. Uh, increase dexterity skill gain uh, by 252 of those and fire rate. Okay, well, I think we're going to go down a specific tree in particular. And I'm thinking, well, right now, honestly, I feel the quests are the better ones. So we're going to go down this route and just going to spend all my points on trying to get down here. Also, uh, for every unspent magic, since it takes time for me to get these levels, that kind of makes sense for me to just be making those points do something. It's, it's like with money. Make your money, make you more money. Otherwise, you're just going to have to constantly work. You'll always be hand-to-mouthing with your money. No, no, no. Make your money, make money while you're asleep. I seem to recall seeing some person say on a youtube video once and it's stuck in my head uh right what are we currently training we are presently training magic affinity and i see almost no reason not to continue to train that except the ridiculous price tag of improving it any further uh okay uh dexterity is the next one that we should probably aim for also accuracy is at 94 let's flip over to to accuracy see let's get that one up Let's buy this to help out with that. And then I'm going to switch over to Dexterity for a while. So I'm going to invest heavily in that one ahead of time. Right, we've got enough to get increased concentration skill gain. Uh, not that it's going to help us out right now. But we, we will invest in that because I can. And accuracy is at 93. We only need it to be 94 to be able to upskill this to the next level. Then we're going to switch over to dexterity for a little while. Uh, this will keep increasing our accuracy and our concentration, so I may as well. Uh, there we go. All right, let's switch over to dexterity. This will take itself up to 95. I'm, I'm not going to be that much, uh, that finicky. All right, portal arrows. Learn how to shoot portal arrows. Okay. Well, that's a very, very uh, deep sound effect. Oh, I'm actually opening portals and shooting arrows out of it. Okay, I thought I was going to be shooting portals. I can't say I'm not pleased with the result, but I am a little bit disappointed. I, I kind of wanted to see how they were going to visualize shooting portals, but okay, I guess. We can't have everything. Uh, right, well, now that we've got that, I may as well buy the Amulet of Insight as well, since I'm, I'm gaining um, concentration at all times. Make sure that we... Oh, wow, portal arrows are really... Portal arrows are crazy. How much damage do portal arrows do? Is it just that they're hitting more targets? No, they're not. Really? Oh, they are doing lots of damage. 4k? All right, fair enough. Increases magic affinity skill experience gain. Increases skill experience from quests. That's the one that I would like to grab with our first six. Going down this route, though, would give me the better bang for a buck, ultimately. Since... Yeah, I'll be earning more while I'm getting these last levels. I might as well. Might as well. Uh, right, we don't need this one. Uh, Dexterity is almost at level... 95 which unlocks a new skill the, oh, the assassin okay exterminate various unsavory figures from the shadows okay uh the unsavory so we're a good assassin all right uh 409k concentrate 409k concentration experience half a mil near enough half a million concentration i uh okay we're gonna need level 100 dexterity to upskill this further though we're not far off it, so that shouldn't be a problem for us. And we are, we are genuinely, this is now, we are in Gattelnorp territory, very much so. I approve. Let's upskill you, and now we're earning more money than we were with the sharpshooter. Uh, but we aren't getting accuracy experience anymore, which makes me sad, because we're so close to guaranteeing critical hits that i'm sort of tempted to go and grab it well you know what we're gaining dexterity experience here anyway so i may as well uh there, there's no reason not to 108k dexterity experience is perfect uh we could grab this but i'm going to grab mana ocean instead we're almost there for it so we'll just hang tight yeah look at the damage though from our portal arrows portal arrows are doing pretty much all the damage right now the it, it's reducing the other damage outputs to trivial amounts um oh mithril targets we can afford now 
sure. Ca craft mithril targets. Now, these are going to take a lot more time to punch through. So I really do hope they give a lot of experience to make to uh, justify that. Because otherwise, that's going to suck. But we'll see how it goes. All right, in terms of dexterity game, we're almost at the next uh, skill level there. So that shouldn't be, a, shouldn't be a big one. There we go. Now we're going to switch over to strength. Because that's the next job that we can unlock. And whilst we're doing that, I may as well buy the enchanted bow. 312k to buy the next level. 1.7 million experience. Also, the portal arrow is doing a crazy bit of work over there. My goodness. All right. Very much approved. Very, very much approved. Also approved of the, the gold income here. Right. How quickly are we going to get to the strength level we need? gonna take us a while it's gonna take us a fair old while i mean we are getting good levels on it but uh yeah let's just definitely get the enchanted bow so it's 300 now there we go up to well, only, only a couple of levels each but still every single time we get a level we're increasing the output damage from strength by by a bit so yeah, it's not terrible i suppose uh still wouldn't mind making that a little bit more efficient right okay so we've got magic mind increases skill experience from all quests that's going to be a big one so if you have a look here now 469,000 experience for concentration and 117,000 dexterity experience from assassin level three you need level 10 dex uh was it level 10 accuracy for that yeah level 10 accuracy uh sorry dexterity rather i do apologize to get level four assassin will that be the highest level or will we have one more level beyond that we might have one more level beyond that one i think uh we've got another three magic levels to get down this tree beyond that though we could then go down the vitality route or we can go for another arrow and i'm kind of feeling another arrow honestly um do we want to go for strength or would i rather go for ice hmm then again going for the the vitality will give us increased experience gain from targets it's just would this allow us to destroy targets faster i really do feel that it probably would allow me to destroy targets a lot faster so yeah we're gonna go down the uh the ice tree next i think uh we're close ish oh no it was only level four that we got for the assassin closest to unlocking the next skill level and hopefully that's going to allow us to train strength passively because at that point i think we're going to switch over to whatever ice arrows are focused on which i believe was accuracy uh, yeah it's the accuracy skill that we can go down and we're going to need to get to about level 200 to get all of our ice arrows being crit but if ice arrows are anything like portal arrows getting double damage from that is going to be huge for us Right, we've got another couple of levels. It seems every time we break a mithril, uh, mithril uh, target, we get one level of strength right now, which isn't great, but it is what it is. Right, we'll increase the mana arrow fire rate. Okay, hopefully we start seeing that increase a little bit over here. We'll see. But we'll be able to get ice arrows in just a moment. Can I buy anything particularly useful for us? Oh, wizard trail. I'm not sure the wizard trainer is actually that useful here, if I'm honest. I think I'd rather save up to get another enchanted bow. That being said, depending on ice arrows, if they hit every target or can just hit a couple of targets. No, they hit every target. Four. Is it just 400? Oh. Oh, well. They're not going to be replacing the portal arrows anytime soon. Then. I was really hoping that they would be similar to the... Uh, to the portal arrows and then thus getting massive levels of crit for them would be amazing hopefully that sound effect isn't too obnoxious let's drop it down just a little bit though because i've got to worry that it might be okay so we're going to increase the critical rate of them in just a second are we going to save up for more targets though i mean if ice arrows are hitting multiple targets which they are kind of makes sense too right arena champion 1.7 million concentration uh yes i think so let's switch over to that straight away 
I see no reason not to. And we sh well, we're slowing down our acquisition of cash a little bit, but that shouldn't be the worst thing in the universe. Uh, what's the next skill we're going to wa want to work on? Actually, concentration, so that's not a problem at all. In fact, we could switch over to that right now. But I think we're leaving some of our other skills way too behind. Let's invest in magic affinity, because I am trying to level up my, uh, my mana, uh, my spells uh, a little bit here. I'm going to go down the Ice Arrow damage and then getting crit damage on everything. I think that would be the better investment there. But we have now got 2 million, so let's go ahead and get more targets. And that way we're, we're getting even more out of our Ice Arrows. That one seems to be the best one. Oh, looks like we've run out of, out of uh, extra targets. That's a bit of a shame. Oh, well. Uh, it is what it is, though. Uh, one, two, one. We're almost there. But Magic Divinity is going up nice and fast now. Yeah, let's, uh, let's start burrowing down on this side to try and get more and more damage coming out of this. Yeah, we're seeing 2.4k on the Ice Arrows now when uh, when they actually crit. So getting accuracy up high enough to, to guarantee that is going to be huge. Okay, let's have a look at you. So Arena Champ... Oh. I mean, that's good. But this is already giving me more money. And way more concentration and more strength and okay there's no reason not to be a royal guard but uh the arena champion was all the crowds as you effortlessly defeat everyone in the city's combat arena and then the royal guard defend the royal family from threats with your observation and archery oh fair enough i mean you know we are training to be the best archer in the world this uh, it makes sense that we would then be contracted to protect the royal family uh at this stage though i'm going to say vitality needs some love and because of that, I'm, oh, actually, I can, wow, we really have not been paying attention to Vitality. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel quite bad, actually. Uh, but we want to get the uh, crit damage up here. This is going to take us a little bit more time, but we're starting to see things moving around. Ice Arrows are starting to catch up with Portal Arrows now, just because they hit so many different targets simultaneously and the crit improvement. I wonder if the other arrows do get any kind of crit. Maybe you don't, because I've never really seen the number on portal arrows go up that much. I mean, it's gone up a tiny bit, but that's probably just down to other skills. So I'm not, uh, I'm not really uh, too hopeful for the other one, the spectral arrows. We'll see though, because it is unlocked very late down that tree. So maybe it is going to be quite a powerful one. It does hit all, uh, multiple targets, so much like ice arrows, going to be hitting everything at once. And this kind of making me want to go down that route, if I'm honest. But we'll finish off the, the Ice Arrow branch first, and then maybe grab the Vitality uh, setup. Increase life force uh, from uh, from the, sorry, the uh, damage from the life force arrows by 100%. I mean, that's a pretty big upgrade, to be fair. Right, let's upskill both of these. There we go. 50k coming in now from being a Royal Guard. That is absolutely fantastic. And can I use that to buy some things? What are we currently training? Currently training Vitality, and I'm okay with continuing to train that for a little bit but uh maybe i should really just barrel down the concentration route since we're getting so much experience from concentration it kind of makes sense to just just uh double that up uh in fact we're also getting into dexterity more arrows more better we will continue with this route right now we're getting all three of these and i see no reason not to to maximize that as much as we possibly can there we go gonna need a little bit more strength for this one but uh, honestly we should just get that naturally so i'm not too too concerned about it uh, we have got a hundred percent crit chance now at least on the normal arrows so that's pretty nice as well uh right let's grab you that's uh accuracy skill maybe it is time for us to switch over from vitality to accuracy i think we shall in fact and along with that i'm going to buy the amulet of oh damn it i went for amulet of vitality not the amulet of blood that was very silly of me but we make stupid money to be fair so it's not gonna be uh, too costly if i mistake that one right increasing the crit damage from ice arrows even further let's see how ridiculous ice arrows is going to become now when they crit 10k okay that is absolutely bonkers that's beautiful 15 hits with an ice arrow crit will completely destroy a myth mithril target and bearing in mind i'm hitting all of them so we we definitely want to continue barreling down and getting accuracy way up there up to 200 and then we're going to pretty much be just dealing 10k 
per per target uh per shot really per volley uh, it does look like the, the ice arrows are being fired a little bit less frequently but that's fine uh, but yeah no we, we've massively massively increased ice arrow damage now it's a dwarfed everything else upscale arena champion we got the strength there now we need 139 153 for the royal guard though how far off are we from there uh, actually not that far off to be to be fair so it's not terrible i think maybe once we get accuracy up to 130 i will switch over to strength and just start pushing that a little bit further i would like to complete all of the jobs more or less in order i know i haven't quite done that but you know we'll see how it goes may as well get the enchanted bone now that i'm working on strength again and there we go right well since i am working on strength there is there is something to be said about going down this route um but again coming back to the fact that this will give me more experience from all sources no we'll we'll go down here we will we will head down the vitality routes i would like to get strength up enough for us to upskill this so 139 is where i need that to be uh, we'll get that and then we'll well so 140 realistically then we're going to switch back to vitality for a little bit uh can i get uh, we've not really done any work on magic for a while and i'm not really feeling doing work on magic just yet so i'm not going to worry about it uh, we've got a few more levels to go with arena champion uh, 159 we've got six more levels well I'll actually make that uh make that five more levels on concentration realistically okay not too bad we've currently got 665 percent speed on uh, for, sorry fire rate 685 percent damage from normal arrows 770 percent experience from breaking targets uh 130 percent uh critical chance 1.14k damage from li uh, life force arrows. Actually, that's not bad when you think about it. And uh, magic affinity is up to 575%. So all things said and done, not bad at all. There we go. Arena champion is maxed out. So as soon as we get 140 here, we're going to be switching over to vitality. And given that, I am in fact going to buy the next amulet for vitality up to 250% training gonna go on in there and strength is done there we go switching over right okay so with that let's start investing i would like to go for the experience here obviously uh so vital uh, life force arrow damage now up by a lot let's try and see where that's at i think it's about 2k 2.4k from life arrows that's not bad really when you think about it it's about twice what my regular arrows are doing and um, they're only only about one quarter what my ice arrows are doing but still not bad at all it's about half of what the portal arrows are doing though so i'm, I'm going to assume that this is going to start catching up relatively quickly too i would hope Right, here we go here's the big one and there we are massive uh, massive experience gain from destroying the targets that is going to really really help us out i should imagine and is there anything we want to purchase there no not really uh concentration is getting up to crazy levels though very very happy with that one uh we just need another three levels on life force arrows in order to uh sorry on magic in order to get um, uh, an increase again on life force arrow damage that should take us up to almost the same damage that we're outputting with portal arrows actually no portal arrows are now doing 5.2 k so they are increasing ever so slowly i wonder if that's as a consequence of the magic affinity i mean maybe it is uh, it's kind of hard to say but uh ice arrows is still dwarfing everything though our normal arrows are still doing quite well we're doing 4.1 million damage per minute you can can actually change this by the way into uh scientific notation if you feel more comfortable with that uh, there we go we have got uh well i mean getting another one for amulets of insight wouldn't be a terrible terrible choice yeah let's get amulet of insight up as high as we possibly can because we're getting so much out of that just just a flat increase to how much uh how many uh how much uh, experience we get from destroying targets just seems like a reasonable investment to me right six more points and we've got vi uh, what rather one more point we've got by the last level of vitality and then we can start going down uh, 
I'm thinking just because it's going to be a lot simpler to, to go this route, let's go down the fire arrow route that just increases the strength skill gain. I think that makes a lot of sense. There we are. We've maxed out Royal Guard. So now we actually do need to jump over to Magic Affinity for a bit. So uh, let's go ahead and get Vitality up to one full. Uh, ooh, well, I was going to say 1.5, but we're already a little bit too high for that. Nevertheless, uh, as much as it pains me, as much as it pains me, uh, let's get Dexterity up to 140. That irritates me way too much to tolerate. Let's, uh, we're, we're chewing through these targets. It won't take me long. But then we're going to finish off Vitality up to 150 and then get to uh, Magic Affinity. There we go. I know it would have done it by itself, but I could help it along. So why not, eh? Uh, and on that note, why don't... Don't I grab the magic quiver? There we go. And since we're going to be going to the uh, wizard trainer, uh, sorry, going to magic affinity, we'll start investing in that one right now. There we go. Up to 4.34 million in the bank. There we go. Got the wizard trainer now 200%. Very, very nice indeed. And we can start investing straight down this route. We've now unlocked the fire arrows. Fire arrows shoot random types. So much like the portal, uh, portal arrows then. Gonna take us a little while before we see how this balances out with everything. And of course, we're increasing the damage of the fire arrows doing at all times. Uh, strength will increase the damage of fire arrows by 50% the normal arrow effect. So once we get down there, that should really bump us up a fair old bit. Now we're at 132. We only need two more levels to see what the next job is going to be. I'm going to assume it's going to be much like these ones. It's just probably concentration and accuracy and vitality or accuracy and magic. Considering magic and locks, it's probably dragon hunter. Oh, I don't know if I can do this one. Slay dragons. Another threat worthy of your attention. Then we catch two close to settlements. Gain 10.8 million concentrate. Okay, so my, my apprehension about being a dragon slayer is diminished greatly. Uh, 7.6 million accuracy, 7.6 million vitality. Oh, actually, no, it, it's doing vitality and magic and accuracy. Okay, that's, that seems like a reasonable one. Uh, let's switch over. We're going to reduce our income by a tiny little bit, but I'm not too worried about that one. Uh, let's see what we can do down here. I could also grab this, I guess. Uh, no, let's continue with what, what we've been doing. Oh, we can already upskill it. That's amazing. All right. Uh, Amulet of Blood may as well increase accuracy now that we're actually training it. There's no reason to hold off on that one. Fire arrows still dragging behind quite a lot, if I'm perfectly honest. Though, I wonder if I pick up the uh, fire power upgrade as well, whether this would be able to beat out regular mana arrows i should imagine so and because of that i'm going to do it and of course because this is increasing well actually we're not training strength right now so i guess it isn't really going to be paying off for us immediately i wonder if there's a final job yeah magic affinity 155 will give us the final job i hope that final job trains all skills so i don't have to make any any uh Difficult decisions on which skills I want to, to upgrade. But it does mean that I can just basically sit here increasing magic affinity and not have to worry about anything else, which I appreciate. At this point, the Enchanted Bow is the only one to up that I need to spend money on before we're in the kind of realm where Amulet of Time is the most obvious thing for me to wait on. But since I'm not training strength right now, it seems to me like I should just sit on that money. We will hoard the money uh, that we are getting from the dragons. They are lesser dragons. If they didn't have the strength to protect their hoard, they didn't deserve their hoard. Uh, it's my hoard now. And we shall continue to build up the cash until we can become a time lord. Hoarding time hordes. It's going to be great. Uh, as for magic, there we go. Final level there. Perfect. Right, so five points to get spectral arrows. And fire arrows have indeed dwarfed basic mana arrows now other than mana arrows all of my magic arrows are dwarfing basic arrows but well, they're dwarfing that's a very big way of putting it ice arrows are dwarfing everything but the uh, the magic arrows are beating uh beating basic arrows okay that's uh 
twinkly sound effects. All right, fair enough. Uh, which one do we want to go down first? Gold or dexterity? I think we're going to go with the dexterity one. So I think that makes the most sense. Right, there we go. We've maxed out Dragon Hunter. Those are very big numbers that we are getting in experience. As for 155, we need... Well, there we are. Unlock this. Cloud, cloud Piercer. Oh, can you become the greatest archer? Skill required. 168 in everything. Finish game. Ah, okay. So we we'll probably don't need to get everything then. There is a lot of room. I can already see so much room for optimizing your build to, to do this quickly. So Cloud Piercer level one. Command weather and clouds using your arrows to help the city avoid drought. 22.2 million concentration. Uh, 1.9... Uh, sorry, 19.9 .9 million strength, 3.33 million dexterity, and 7.77 million magic affinity. Uh, okay, well, this is just, uh, it's just flat out better. There's, there's no two ways about it. I'm also getting 200k as standard for this. But it looks like we're going to be sat training magic affinity for a little while. There is no reason not to. All right, we're going to increase our skill gain from so many places. And now that I'm training strength, I may as well for that. 40 million for the next amulet of time. But, I mean, we are gaining stupid, stupid amounts of experience. 44.8 million concentration and strength experience. Only 6.73 million for dexterity. That's a bit of an outlier. And then 15.7 million for... Oh, of course, it's not that much of an outlier when you think about it, because I just don't have these. I haven't gained the uh, the upgraded... To, oh, my lord, the, 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 the tinkling sound effect. That is, that is that is quite obnoxious. Let's drop that down a little bit further again. There we go. We're going to pop it down to about the same level as the music, just. <laughs> uh, I, I do like the, the little details this game has, I, but it does suffer the same sort of problem that a lot of incremental games with sound have, and that is that the whole point is to be able to automate the stuff so that you're doing it faster. You know, the number number go big, brain go brr, but also sound effect go brr. So if sound effect is in any way discordant, oh, you're almost punished for doing well. Right, let's uh, upskill you. Now 400k per tick. Very nice indeed. We'll get up to 600k once we've gotten our magic affinity up to level 167, which is only one level behind what we need. And we've passively gotten concentration up to the point where we can win the game. Very, very nice indeed. Let's go for more dexterity, more spectral arrow fire rate. There we go. What are we actually doing in terms of spectral arrow damage? I think it's only like 1.5k, something like that. Or the, yeah, no, those are spectral arrows. The, 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 the red, my normal arrows are over here. Okay, but we are actually firing them, them quite quickly. So, you know, that does actually work out. And I haven't even increased all of their damage yet. So, uh, but getting the gold game would be very nice. There we are. Upskilled. I now need one. So you actually want me to be a way higher level than I need to be to w finish the game. Fair. Fair. That does make sense. Okay. I wonder if we can take this all the way up to getting a million per tick. That'd be kind of cool. That's by the uh, the wizard trainer. It makes sense too, considering that's what we're using to upgrade our money making skill right now. All right, let's increase the gold, and then we will increase strength. Though honestly, at this point, I may as well just increase them in tandem. This way, the spectral arrows are at least doing a little bit more damage. Uh, up to fourteen million already. This kind of bonkers now. Uh, which one should I go? I'm kind of thinking just go for the amulet of insight to get even more experience out of of every uh, every target that we destroy makes the most sense to me but it kind of sh i was expecting this to be just blistering through as we started to get really big numbers on magic affinity but it's really not actually uh it's a lot slower than i was expecting i was expecting this to be you know absolutely crazy on this side which is why i went for the mana ocean i was expecting that to pay off really really heavily and to be fair it has been paying off it definitely has been. Oh, of course, that's how my portal arrows are getting the higher amounts of damage, is I'm accruing more and more mana. Okay, so I guess portal arrows have a very direct um, scaling mechanic. I wonder which would scale better. Training vitality or strength. So vitality would increase my, my, uh, my life force arrows. Strength would increase my fire arrows. And simply accruing more... Uh, magical experience would train up my 
portal arrows. I wonder, wh wonder which one scales more aggressively. Let's go for the amulet of time. That's a, that's an obvious one there. Uh, then we're going to grab... Okay, the concentration is done. Let's have a look over here. We are practically complete. I want to get you up to max. There we go. And yeah, pretty much at this point, I can just train whatever it is that my heart so desires. And to that end, let's start training vitality. Actually, let's tra start training accuracy. Uh, we don't yet have the uh, the guarantee of a crit for our ice arrows. So, but that doesn't scale beyond 100% crit chance. So, I would imagine. Uh, I, I don't believe it's adding to damage. It's just adding to crit chance, isn't it? Increase the critical rate of ice arrows. Yeah. So, it would never really scale beyond having a 100% crit chance. Which, I mean, you know, it's great and all. But uh, it would be nice if we could see that, that number get much, much bigger. Uh, right, we're currently training Vitality. So, let's... Uh, 140 million? Are you joking? You're having a laugh. I mean, that is a very nice big number, 350%, but I do not think we're getting there uh, before we have already completed the game. Uh, vitality, yeah, we're going, oh, sorry, we're training accuracy right now. Uh, maybe, maybe I should be going to Vitality to see how that one scales instead. The strength is already training at all times, so I don't really need to worry about that. But accuracy is about to be finished, and then we can move on to vitality. It should be fine. All right, there we go. Accuracy, yeah, 140 for that as well. Don't think that's happening. I might get the amulet of time, but I don't think I'm getting those two upgrades before before we, we wrap up the game here. All right, let's switch over to vitality for the rest of it. And yeah, now, now it's just scaling portal damage. But it is increasing about 10% for each one. So we're already up 130%, 140%. I kind of feel the portal arrows will ultimately be the strongest. But it's hard to say. It is hard to say. Spectral arrows definitely won't be. Ice and spectral arrows, their main thing is that they're hitting all of the targets simultaneously. So they, they're doing four times the damage that they, they do normally. But I think with time, portal and fire will outpace them. It will take time. But they will eventually get there. Okay, so you do, you do go even higher. Fair enough. Uh, we are almost ready to finish the game, though. This frustrates me. It frustrates me that we can finish the game, but I haven't bought everything. Be right back. And here we go. Time for us to buy the final upgrade. The Amulet of Blood. There we are. It took me about an extra four minutes to buy everything, actually, so it wasn't that long at all. But in that time, despite focusing entirely on vitality, not only has strength passively just kept just ahead of it, but uh, the portal arrows, as I suspected would be the case, have just been racing off the scaling on portal arrows is just wild the moment i stopped actually using my mana for anything else and given that the cloud piercer is also training up magic affinity uh th this is just going to continue to get more and more bonkers so uh, yeah portal arrows for the win ultimately we're not shooting portals but uh the arrows shot from the portals are definitely the best arrows but it is with a hint of sadness that we must now finish the game Hooray! You became the greatest archer in one hour and five minutes. It was actually one hour when I glanced over at the timer. Uh, possibly even like 59 minutes if we don't include the preamble. But that, that is about the, the point. It's about an hour long. And for hon honestly, again, even though there's only an hour in this, le uh, sorry, more if you decide to like t kind of try and beat your high score, free is just too cheap. <laughs> this game was... An hour of solid fun. I would happily toss uh, a couple of shiny pounds into a hat for an hour of just solid enjoyment. I do more for just buskers on the street, and I only enjoy the music they're doing for like a minute as I'm walking by. My goodness, what a fantastic little game this is. And I really, really do hope that you will pick it up for yourselves as well. And if you do, do consider adding your review on Steam to the overwhelmingly positive many thousands of reviews that this game already has. What a, what a rare gem this has been, and I am going to definitely be keeping an eye on the developer and what 
they do next. But that is going to be it for me. This has been Magic Archery. I do hope you have enjoyed this fresh first taste today. And I hope you're looking forward to whatever we cover next. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone. And remember, if you are on the Dapperdale Discord, links down below, then uh, post your screenshots of your time as well. I am going to be very curious at how fast someone who dedicates themselves to the task and isn't worried about round numbers can actually complete the game in. Anyway, take care, everyone. <laughs>